NASA's latest moon launch is set to blast off tomorrow after its original date was delayed. The uncrewed Artemis 1 mission was scrubbed Monday because of technical problems which have since been resolved. So for more on this launch, we're going to bring in CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood. He's at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Hey there, Bill. So what has NASA changed since Monday hey. to help increase these chances of a successful launch? You know, they had a couple of problems. The biggest one was getting the engines cold enough to start. You know, if you think about it, liquid hydrogen, which is the fuel in this case, it, it is at about minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit. So when that liquid hits these big turbo pumps in those engines, you want to make sure that they've been conditioned and they're ready for that. So they try to cool the engines in the launch attempt Monday. They couldn't get them to the temperature they wanted. They think they figured out a way around that. They're going to start it a little earlier. They're going to expose that hardware to that liquid hydrogen for a longer period, and they think they'll get there. They had a couple of other more minor problems. They worked through those, as you said. And right now, the weather is uh, hanging out there at 60% go at the opening of the launch window, and it improves up to 80% by the end. So they think they've got a good shot at it. Fingers crossed in the meantime. Yeah, that's not bad, 60 to 80 percent. So will this delayed launch, though, impact any aspects of this mission? You know, it's interesting. To go to the moon, they have to hit a specific trajectory to get into the orbit they want. And so the way it's set up is that even if you go on a different day and your launch time changes, they make up for that when they do subsequent rocket firings to fine-tune their trajectory and set up that orbit around the moon. So once this gets going and they're on the way to the moon, it's going to be pretty much the same mission they planned all along, a few minor changes, uh, but it's pretty much what they were looking for, about a 39-day mission ending up back in the Pacific Ocean for splashdown around uh, October 11th. So many people are looking forward to seeing this. Let's say the rocket doesn't launch tomorrow. What are NASA's options after that? Well, they've got a couple of options, like they always do, it seems. Uh, if they don't load fuel in the rocket, they've got a shot at launching on Sunday. If they do load fuel and don't go, uh, then they can try again Monday, assuming no you know, technical problems, like if it was just a weather delay or something like that, they could try again Monday. But really, that's pretty much the end of the road for this mission for right now. Uh, there's some chance they could launch on, the, on Tuesday, but not very much. And after that, they have to roll the rocket back to its hangar. They have to service some batteries on board that can't be accessed at the launch pad. And then they'd have to roll back out to the pad and try again, you know, late September or more likely uh, sometime in October. Well, I'm sure they want to get this going tomorrow. Bill, thank you so much. And if all things go according to plan, you're going to be able to stream the Artemis One launch tomorrow afternoon right here on CBS News.